Okay, we're going to Melbourne Sound now. We have a special trip with our driver Mark. <laughs> Thanks. You don't mind if we do a vlog. <laughs> That's a vlog, yes, Mark. I hope none of you are <laughs> yeah. um, I yeah. certainly so, am. Yeah. We got a van here. Special yeah. trip. Yes, you've got your own. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it amazing? Enjoy the I haven't worked since, it's going since, going easy, since the end of March yeah. when COVID struck. Oh no. So, That's how much work we have lost. Is it, yeah? Is it okay? So, um, you're very, very lucky. Right, what's the speedo? 79441. Okay. That's the office of Southern Discovery. Yes. Yes. You want daddy? So have a sound trip. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so this is the mighty metropolis of Tianao. <laughs> Permanent population of around uh, 4,000 people. Four thousand. Oh. At the present time, Labor Weekend, big fishing competition on this weekend. Lots of people about. We we'll probably have around 10,000. But in a normal year, as I say, a normal year without COVID, around Christmas time here, we can be up to 18,000 people. No accommodation available, people having to sleep in cars, etc. So it's a very, very popular holiday spot. I've lived here the last uh, 30 years and uh, love the place. Uh, Mark, you don't mind turning down the heater a little bit? Yes, I'm just going to uh, work the uh, heater system out on this. As I say, I put it on high for a start. We'll go that way down yes. to cold. So everybody out on the right there doing their dining, their breakfasting. Of course, the big supermarket on the left there. We have all the uh, major retail outlets, might attend placemakers in the town. So it's a very popular uh, spot. Of course, mainly aiming all year round to the farming fraternity. And of course, in the warmer months, the tourists themselves. So we're on the left here we have the primary school. Primary school. What a large primary school for the area. As I say, based on the farming people around the area. And of course those work in tourism. Coming up on the right hand side we have the uh, police force, police station. We have nine policemen working out of Tiano, very busy place. And we're one of the very few people who still have a, our own butcher shop. Not many people or towns these days have their own butcher shop. We're fortunate enough still to have one. Coming up on the right hand side, the uh, veterinary club for the farmers. And down here on the right hand side, the Fuelling College, the secondary school. So really the town accommodates most people. Only thing we don't have in the town is a hospital or a maternity home. Those 
supposed to two hours away at Imbacock. So out to our left is the direction we're heading towards. And for the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to be cruising up the uh, edge of Lake Tiana to a place called Tiana Downs. Where we then hang a right and head over into the Eglinton Valley. And from there, we start climbing up to two of our mountain passes. Two passes we go over. The major one, of course, being where the Homer Tunnel is. Of course, we go through the Homer Tunnel and then drop down into Pio Pio Targi, which is the Maori version of the most connection to the internet. Please try again a bit later. Any of you wanted to use cell phones or anything else like that, this is your last chance to do it. Within a couple of minutes, we're going to be out of full cell phone coverage. We're out hitting the sticks, so to speak. Out in the back of beyond. Land Corp scheme. 
then this farm here is known as the U-Burn. U-Burn, you think straight away of female sheep. But up until 10 years ago, that was the case. But now, this area is uh, farmed heavily with deer. It's the overseas market discovering the wonderful tasting meat called venison. So they have some 4,000 breeding hides on this property. It's still running sheep and cattle though. markets and the soft velvet the antler going to the Asian markets so very very popular the venison said being run by a government department they appoint a manager and then they also appoint other people to work the property of course, pay them a meagre wage and reap all the benefits themselves. Typical government department.
compare it as a teacup full of water to a 10 litre bucket. That's the difference in rainfall between the two areas. This here is a national park. It's run by the uh, local government department Pretty, but uh, it was always high up, so people can't touch it. Here's some more. 